Once again, once again. What's up, everyone? This is the Seven Queen Shay. How was everyone night? I hope that everyone Monday was blessed and highly favored. And even if things didn't go in your way or didn't go the way that you wanted to go in your favor, just know that it didn't go your way for a reason. Sometimes God block us from things that we think that we want to desire and it hurts our feelings. It's because he's holding us back or he's trying to gear us to what's even better. <laughs> but that's not what I came on here today. I didn't come on here to preach. I came on here because it's a damn epidemic that's going on. An epidemic. I am Tired of hearing parents call their babies, their children, bitch, hoe, nigga, nigger, white trash, ain't shit, motherfucker, tramp, slut. Shall I go on? I am tired. And if you're listening to me, you one of them parents that like to cuss out your motherfucking kid, bitch, go to fucking hell and if you're a man that's listening that like to cuss out your kid go twist your damn dick off until it falls off like this don't make no damn sense now growing up in the hood you are taught to kind of mind your own damn business and let people discipline their child the way they want to discipline their child. But I done had enough. And people wonder why this new generation that's growing up is the way that they are. Hell, look at their mamas. Look how their mamas talk to them. Call them out kind of bitch. If I go some, if I go one more damn, the next time, which I know is going to happen. Oh, it's going to happen again. If I go, I'm just one more damn place. I know it's going to happen again. And I hear a mama say, bitch, if you don't bring your bitch ass here, I'm going to turn around. I'm going to call her all kind of damn names. And I want the bitch to get mad. I want the mama to get mad. Because I'm going to say, that's what you're doing to that little baby. That's what you're doing to that princess. That's what you're doing to the next, could be the next U.S. president. That's what you're doing to the next leader of this world is calling that leader, that future leader, a bitch, a hoe, a nigga, a white trash, a ain't shit, all kind of shit. That's what the fuck you doing. So that's what the fuck I'm going to call you. And I dare her to step up. I want the bitch to step up. <laughs> Please step the fuck up. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to whoop her ass just like she be beating the hell out of her children's ass. Because trust me, if a woman, a mother, a father can call their child out their name like that in public, oh, they beating the fuck out that baby too. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. There is no reason for you to have to call your child that. And you know what you're doing when you're doing that? You're either teaching your child two things. Two important things that's going on. That you te- you're, you're teaching your child and don't even realize. You're teaching them either one, to accept that and that's just normal and it's okay to be called that. So when they grow up and people call them that and disrespect them, guess what they're going to do? They're going to sit back and, and honor that. They're going to think that's love. Or two, they're going to snap the fuck off. That's what's going to happen. And I'm tired of these so-called parents talking to their child like that. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You need your motherfucking ass beat. You need to take down your motherfucking pants, your panties, your boxes, your thongs, whatever the fuck you got on. And you need your motherfucking ass beat with a paddle with nails in it. You do. What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm so damn tired of these damn parents calling their damn kids all kind of names. But then be the first one that will get upset if somebody call you that. (laughs) And y'all wonder why some of these kids grow up and they beat the hell out their parents. Y'all wonder why. Y'all wonder why some of these kids grow up and they kill their parents. Y'all wonder why? Because of the way they're being brought up. In most cases, the way that the parent 
treated them. The way that the parent didn't protect them from themselves. And if you're that type of parent, give your child to someone that can better, that can do better for your child till you get your shit together. Because obviously you fucked up in the head. And come see me. I'll help you. I will. I will help you. I will fuck you up and help you at the same damn time. Fuck you up and help you at the same damn time. <laughs> no, come see me seriously. Because you need some help. You need someone to talk to. For you to cuss out your child, you need some real, you need some help. You need some help. And just like these kids that be disrespectful to their parents, they need some help too. Especially if your parent ain't doing nothing to you. You need some motherfucking help. But back to these damn parents. You know better. You know better. You 30 in your 30s and your 20s, 40s, however you old, how old you are. And you calling your two-year-old, your three-year-old bitch. Bitch, if you don't bring your black ass here. Preston, if you don't bring your white trash here. What the fuck? Really? Really? Who's really the white trash? Who's really the bitch? Who's really the hoe? Huh. Ain't the baby a inf- uh, as as should be a virgin? You the one that got your legs spread open, obviously. You got a kid, so who's really the hoe in the equation? <laughs> who's really the hoe? But I'm so damn tired. I'm tired of hearing it. I'm tired of experiencing it. And the next damn time it happens in front of me, it is on and motherfucking popping. It is on. It is on. And to the children that I have actually witnessed this happen to, and I didn't stand up and say anything, baby, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I was just doing what the rules of the hood is. And sometimes you have to get outside the hood. Sometimes you have to get outside your your neighborhood and see the hood don't always be poor. You got all kind of hoods. You got your your hood, your your roughneck hood, your uppity hood, your racist hood. Sometimes you got to get out of your your neighborhood rules and mindset in order for you to grow. And that is sickening to me. That is sickening to me. The way these parents sometimes be disciplining these kids is like they're trying to and want to embarrass them purposely. Now, knowing that you starting to look like an idiot more than the kid is, the kid is going to do stupid things. That's what a kid is supposed to fucking do. Do stupid things. And as a damn parent, yes, you're supposed to discipline. But bitch, you don't call your damn child a bitch. You be an adult. And learn how to discipline them like an adult supposed to do. Now, if your kid is grown and they do some crazy stuff and they want to come at you, by all means, do whatever you got to do to protect yourself. But a damn 20, 30, 40, 50 year old calling a damn 6, 5, 4, 7, 8. 11, 12, I don't give a damn. If the damn kid ain't walked across the damn high school stage and you calling that baby a bitch, a hoe, trash, you need your motherfucking ass beat. You need your motherfucking ass beat. You need some damn help. You need to go get some help. A to the damn stop. I am tired and I am fed up with it I am I'm so fed up with it and it's sad it's so sad but anyway I'm about to go I said what I had to say I'm laying down so I didn't get a chance to really be as vocal as I wanted to be because I've been thinking about this all day but yes this is crazy Stop it. Do better for yourself. Think before you speak. Think before you react. Please. Please do. Because everything that you do, you're teaching and programming your child. What they're going to accept, what they're not going to accept. 
how they're going to behave, how they're not going to behave, how they're going to let someone treat them, how they're not going to let someone treat them is the way that you start treating them from the jump. You're programming. The chip is already laid, people. <laughs> anyway, love you. Peace, love, soul, and what? Hair grease. Bye.